Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from Unkert Education here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ultra Edit on a Windows computer. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to Google and we'll search for Ultra Edit. Okay. The first thing that should come up is www.ultraedit.com. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to accept the cookies and then click this download button to download the app. I'm going to go here and I want to download the English 64 bit. You can also download a Mac or Linux version. I'm going to click here to download and I'm going to go ahead and let that download. That might take a moment. Okay, once the file is downloads, I downloaded, I can navigate to my downloads folder here and I'm going to right click on the file and click open. Uh, I'm Click yes, I want this app to make changes to my device. It'll say thank you for choosing Ultra Edit. Your install will be complete in a matter of seconds. You can click plus to get an advanced install. I'm not going to do that. I am going to accept the license agreement here and click install. It's also going to ask you, would you like to install Ultra Compare Professional? You can check that. I'm going to not check that and click next and then finish. Okay. So now if I go to my desktop here, I see I have an icon for Ultra Edit. I can also search my search bar here for Ultra Edit and open the app that way. Okay, Ultra Edit will open up uh, just like this. I'm gonna maximize it. And you have the option to enter a license key or unlock a free trial. I have a license to it. The free trial is 30 days. Uh, I'm just gonna enter the license and then I'll get back to you. Okay, if you activate the license like I did, you'll see this sign that license activation was successful. You can also continue with free trial. I'm going to click OK, and it's going to give me some ideas down here. Uh, I'm just going to click back to this welcome screen so everything populates. So I just went to this other window open, then went back because it was, uh, you know, filming. It got a little uh, funky there. That's a technical description. Uh, so anyways, you'll get a theme to pick to start with. You can pick one of these. There are more themes than this. Um, but for right now, you can start with one of these. Let's select Monica Pro. Uh, you can start with Lean, Balance, Clean, or Multi-Window. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to stick with Lean. And then you can have the Ribbon, Menu and Toolbars, Menu Only. Change the tab size if you want, say to four tabs. Uh, so on and so forth. And then when you're ready to go, just click to your edit window and close this out. Now, if you have this ribbon here, you can go to layout and then over here to themes. And you can pick some other themes, like for instance, classic is a nice white theme. Or if you like another one, I believe, let's see, Sterling's a light one. You can do stuff like titanium, which is kind of cool uh espresso which has that that kind of look um so on and so forth and they have modern light which is a light one as well other things you can do is you can go and change the font so if i look here uh sometimes it takes me a while to find these things but the fonts uh you can go here to set font in view and right now it's sent at consolas you could do Cascadia code and you know maybe change the size maybe I want it bigger for presentation and then click set and now uh, I can start typing in the editor and everything is looking nice from there additionally if you want a few additional themes you can go online and go to Google again and look for ultra edit themes you see I have that selected and you can download ultra edit themes and color here. So let's say I wanted to, some of these don't quite match up with the pictures all the time, but let's say I wanted to download the Firefox dev dark. I'll click download that theme. Uh, I'll go here and instead of opening file, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to layout themes. I'll click on themes here and then manage themes. And then from here, uh, what I will do is click the plus sign and click add existing theme. 
And I'm going to put this wherever I want it, where I'll keep the theme file. But if I go to downloads and I just click on that and click open, it's going to import it. And you can uh, keep the theme if you want or uh, not accept the changes. Uh, you can undo the changes if you want or just close it out. And then you've got this alternative theme. Uh, this happens to be the Firefox dev theme. So you can play with a bunch of these things here, get started and setting it up for any type of coding you want. Uh, but yeah, that was it. How to install Ultra Edit on a Windows computer. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.